everyone, I'm Anne Metcalf. Welcome to my little introductory video on muscle testing, basically. The question was, who do you trust? Who is your mentor for tapping into what is the best food for you to eat? What is right for you? Well, the answer is yourself, your body. You have 60 trillion plus cells that love you unconditionally. They contain the information from the universe. You are complete, you are whole. And that knowledge is within you. And I think as human beings, we've kind of forgot that we need to trust that. Our essence heart, the sixth sense, the intuition, different things that you want to call it. And so that's what this little introduction is about, is using muscle testing with a pendulum and our body to check to see if we're eating the right foods for us. So that, with that, let's get started. So uh, dowsing muscle testing, basically it's picking up the electromagnetic energy, the vibrational frequency of the food that you'll be eating, you can use it for trying on the right color clothes even. Um, and so we have our, our pendulum and the pendulum can be just about anything. For me, it's, uh, it's um, a ring and a little pendant on a chain. It can be a necklace that you've got in your jewelry box. And just to make sure that you make use it with a short chain so that it can swing a little more accurately. That's one thing that's important. And the other thing that's important when you're doing the testing, make sure you're hydrated and that you've been drinking your water because sometimes that will affect the answer that you get because you're tapping into that wisdom that you are and noticing things. And if you're dehydrated, it just affects it a little bit. So we need to establish our baseline so for when we go do testing other things we have that baseline and so for the pendulum your thumb will be testing to see if that's your yes and for me that's what I learned over 10 years ago and the thumb is always the yes the point of finger is the no and the middle finger is sometimes maybe and it depends on the statement or the question you're asking as to whether if it's not clear, then your body gets confused and it doesn't know whether they give you a yes or a no. So we've got your thumb out, you've got your pendulum, and it can be a, a washer on a string. It doesn't have to be fancy. Some people use um, gemstones, crystals for it. So my hand, this electromagnetic energy of all my 60 plus trillion cells are going to tell me what my yes will be. So I'm holding up my thumb and I start with a bit of a swing just to get it going, but my hand is pretty still. So I say, show me yes. And for me, that is moving along what I call north south. And I'll just change it so that you can see. So that's my yes. Then I ask, it's a statement, pointer finger, show me no, and it changes direction. And then I point out my middle finger, and today it is counterclockwise, and that can change. So I'll just, from this point of view, we'll just show me yes, this is our baseline, show me no, And middle finger, sometimes maybe, and mine is going in a counterclockwise direction. And that can change. So have patience and grace for yourself as you practice, because it does change. I don't know why, it just does. Uh, maybe it's the body just having a little bit of fun with you. Energy is shifted, I'm not sure why. But just have patience for yourself. And when you're doing that, breathe in. Connect with the earth, breathe in. When you take those breaths, you're helping the mind get out of the way. This tool 
also keeps them up the uh, the mind busy. It's going, oh, what is this person doing? And they are focused on this, and that helps kind of let the subconscious come through. So now that's the pendulum. The other pendulum is your body. And we again, we need a baseline. So I just stand with my feet kind of hip width apart. My knees are soft. And often when I do this, my eyes are closed and you're relaxed. And so you're breathing in and you just connect with your body and breathe out. And then you say, I, I start with, my name is George. So I say, my name is George. Well, my name's not George. And I go, I tilt backwards. Then I say, my name. My name is Anne. And I go forward. Now, if I was, I'll turn this way. Now, if I would say my name is Aunt George, my body's going, oh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, so that's a uh, kind of a confirmation that yes, my name is Anne. So that's the body testing that you can play with for your food, making different choices. I've used it to check on vitamins on the computer, and I just put my pencil to the list of things, and I just say, is this in my highest for my body to have, especially when I order something? And so then I'll have the pencil on the item, and I'll have my pendulum, and then it will give me, and I will have already got my baseline, so I just go down the list, and if I just keep getting no, I'll go down the next one until I get uh, maybe a yes, because when you go shopping for oh, vitamins, there's so many to choose from. And even if you go shopping for apples, there might be 10 different kinds of apples. And is there a particular apple that your body wants? You know, maybe you've always had Granny Smith's and your body's going, no, actually, I don't want Granny Smith's right now. I want to have Macintosh or Ambrosia's and trying something different. So it's letting go of your habits, your conditionings, because that affects our food choices a lot, what you have in your family, in your culture, and also what they say on media, advertising. They say, oh, this has been tested. It's good for your body. Well, science has taken out sort of the key ingredients, and when you're not eating the whole food, are you getting the complete package that is in the divine nature of that apple or the orange? And so uh, just keep that in mind. And the other thing that you'll get with your, uh, your free gift, and thank you for, for signing up to that, it are, it's a, it'll be a PDF file of what I call pie charts. And on the pie chart, there are names. There's some for complex carbs, salad things, protein, vegetable protein, and you'll get a sample of what I have that I use for my class. And so you've got that. I'll just, okay, I'll just bring that a little closer. Move that back a little bit. So you can actually see there's a, the pie chart. And then you, for this, when you've got the chart, then we're gonna look at vegetarian options for dinner. So we're going to decide, what are we going to have for dinner? So we've got lentils, beans, we've got tofu, soy, grains, chickpea, and other, something else. And I usually add other because sometimes what we think we want and what our body needs are two different things. So we just, I set it so that you've got, I have it so that the pendulum is swinging down the middle. Let's see, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's kind of hard for you to see. So the pendulum is swinging down the middle, and I'm going, okay, what is my highest? What does my body need today? And so right now it's pointing to beans. So what kind of beans? Well, this is where you can get your uh, tins of beans, and you put your tins of beans in front of you, 
and you take this, and I quite often do it with three or, three or four. And so I say, okay, which beans do I want? And so I'll put this, again, use a pendulum, and it will point to the can of beans. And then you can be creative with whatever the meal is that you want to have. And so that's how you can use these charts. And the other thing that I, I have in my kitchen is just a, a yogurt lid and a, a dry erase marker. And I just make a half pie shape. And then I'll fill in, especially for breakfast, I might put oats, eggs, yogurt, cheese, and other. And then I use the pendulum and I make that connection so that our vibrations are aligned. And I'll make that statement. My vibrations are aligned with this particular type of food. And because everything is energy, our, the words carry that energy. So if it says yogurt, the body knows not that amazing that it's yogurt? And the other day I was testing and I was came down for lunch and I had this pie chart. I said, okay, what does my body want right now? Well, I ended up having oatmeal for lunch, something I've never had in my life. So it takes some willingness and some courage, compassion, patience, and grace to try this out. Try it out for a meal, try it out for a snack, and have fun with it. Um, and then just tune into that body. And if you want more information on me and Metcalf, you can check my website, which is uh, soil-alchemy.com. And if you want to email me, it's rosiesjoy11 at gmail.com. So thank you for signing up and exploring this new way of being. It's conscious eating for conscious living. And the conscious eating is the first step towards being more conscious about what we do in our lives and the choices that we make. So have fun and namaste.